We're coming up to such, a, such an ama amazing landmark of, of five years, um, and I've been lucky enough to work on this business since you know before we launched, and we've got such wonderful people to work for GIFGAF, but of course, the whole ethos and what we're trying to do really is about involving members. And across those five years, from members that are still here to those that came in briefly or to those that came in for slightly longer, anyone that's done anything between getting one person to join to filming a video on YouTube to getting you know 100 people to join to um, being on the community for you know six hours every day, all of those things are amazing, and all of those things accumulate into delivering the vision of what we're trying to do with GIFCA, and that is um, just simply amazing. The members in the early years um, were very different to what we thought they would be. Um, just to give you an idea, we, we launched a community before we had a network, and I remember those days in terms of we're launching this community and it's going to be an empty space and we're worried about it. Uh, one of my first jobs back then was try to recruit super recruit or super members uh, who would be involved in the community from day one. I guess that the reality was that we didn't really need to do that. Um, just the concept of how GIFCAP was, how it was built, was enough to get us started and, and just organically and through word of mouth uh, the community started growing. When we started the community were pretty much the same as they are now in all fairness, just not as big. So, you know, we have people so dedicated to helping and that's never changed. If anything, it's amplified since then. So it's, it's been great being a part of something so, um, so community focused and so community based. And to see those individuals, uh, when I start to still be a part of this community as well, is fantastic. From a brand point of view, one of the first things that members got involved in was our launch campaign, uh, which we launched in the back end of 2009, when we were still in beta, which was called Tool Hire. And the idea was you came to the website and you could hire loads of different sort of wacky and wonderful tools, which might be a, a pedal bike that has a vinyl record on the front that plays out speakers, or it might be um, a kind of artist easel and costume, or it could be uh, the human hand dryer. And the idea was people would hire these wacky tools, film a really entertaining, engaging, funny video, put it up online, and that would spread the word about GIFGAF. We incentivised that by giving people a year's worth of free GIFGAF um, calls and texts um, if they got involved, and we gave them a badge, which at the time was a, a VIG badge. So people created hundreds of these kind of um, wacky videos, lots of which are still on YouTube um, and able to view. So that was probably the first thing they did to spread the word. We've had a really successful ideas platform. I think it's a good first step to, to seeing how members have really helped give GAF grow as a business and, and each other as well. Um, I think my favorite moment with the, the ideas platform was NanoGAF, which um, I think most people who were around at the time will remember when um, Apple launched their, their new iPhone. It had a nano SIM in it, and we weren't quite ready to, to distribute these nano SIMs to the community when we launched. We actually had the community there to come and to step in and to, to build a, a website which would let members order a nano SIM. They would send them out to the members on our behalf and they were sat there cutting down these SIM cards to make them fit into iPhones, which is incredible. And we, yeah, it was amazing to see the community literally come to the rescue in that kind of situation through their own ideas, their own ingenuity. It's just fantastic. I remember also in the back and field days when we uh, started to have conversations with, with Daniel Haidt, um, which is our official uh, app developer lead. Um, and he was a member of the community. He had done the iOS app. It already had something like 90,000 downloads, so really high numbers of, of reviews as well. And we felt, well, there's no point of us having to create an official app for GIFGAF. Let's use our member app as our official app. So we started to have conversations, and he ended up working for us uh, full time. So, so it, it's a very good example of that community to business crossover and how, how that worked for us. What we've always tried to do is uh, for members to get involved in, in different levels of, of ways in different campaigns that we run. So of course Zoe Awesome is in uh, one of the films which is called Made by Members as well as other members um, of uh, GIFGAF. Um, we've also had people play Zombies and Villagers in the Don't Be Scared campaign. Uh, we've also, uh, when we did um, Unlock a phone, unlock a chicken with Keith and Orville. We really wanted people to use that and spread the word and we did different, uh, different kind of graphics and banners that people could use and create their own artwork. You know, even when we've done stuff like 
at the Big Bang Theory on the sponsorship uh, buffers that we put on that show, um, we asked people to go to Facebook to suggest what the next thing sh should appear in these buffers should be. So we started with a cake and we blew that up, Big Bang blowing up cakes. We then said go to Facebook and suggest what it should be. People suggested jelly castles, so we then went and blew up jelly castles. There's been some real standout moments through my time here and I think my, my favourite one's probably is Darren Painter, um, an amazing guy. I remember celebrating him spending a million minutes online which is absolutely incredible when you think about it. In a two year spell to spend that amount of time you know, helping people in our community is just fantastic and I think that the most overwhelming thing for us all here is that Darren isn't the only one where he might be one of the first to achieve that. We've actually got lots more Darren painters out there that are always willing to help and to provide support. I can't remember which member it was but um, we were having a particularly, uh, a particularly hectic time in Gift Gap and she actually turned up at the office with a packet of biscuits asking us on Twitter what our favourite biscuits was. We've had members create apps, we've had members drive up and down the M4 talking about you know, how strong their signal was and, and noting it down and just, you know, just wonderful things that just go beyond your expectation and you know, one of the things that we talked about before we launched in 2009 was you know, how, how do we get people to get involved and, and, and in fact will people want to get involved and the fact that people will do absolutely brilliant things like provide really super help to deliver us biscuits is just amazing. Um, I remember when I was doing this video um, four years ago, it was one, my, our one year anniversary and uh, Back then I was introducing member URL, which was our first feature, which was online, where you could, um, I guess, recommend your SIM, sim order page and, and get orders and, and activations from it. Right now it feels like an obvious element of gift gap, uh, but probably everything we're doing right now is going to look so obvious in five years' time as part of our integral um, part of what gift gap is all about. Um, I truly believe in what we've been doing and, and what we've been doing in collaboration with our members has taken us to to massive levels of engagement and, and success. I do believe that we're into something really big, something that will revolutionize um, the teleco industry across the world and probably many other industries as well. I think next year and the future in general is looking so exciting for us as we announce a lot more new projects and a lot more uh, development on kind of what we've got already to, to introduce new ways of um, getting involved with GIFGAF and also finding different ways for new people to get involved in the community as well and I think for me that's kind of our main future vision is to keep everybody who's a part of it still engaged and entertained and happy but also finding ways to bring people into this community that necessarily wouldn't have found it otherwise because we just want more people to know about the great stories and great things that we have to offer. So I'd, I'd love to thank everyone in the GIFGAF community for an amazing five years and an amazing personal two and a half years, uh, or three years now that I've had here as well. It's been amazing seeing the, the community grow and seeing what you guys offer us on a daily basis. And definitely want to wish a happy birthday to everyone at GIFGAF as well as the community. And I look forward to the next five years with you guys. You know, we do just want to say a massive thank you to anyone that's ever been involved with Gift Gap. Um, thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure to be part of this journey. And uh, I wish you all a very happy five-year birthday. <laughs>